First off, I have the kidney beans that I soaked all night long, and they're here boiling away. I've got them on medium. Um, this takes, because of the beans, um, they, it takes, it's quite a process to uh, cook this. I'm doing my mother's recipe, mostly. And um, so the beans, she soaked all night long, and then she uh, cooked them um, early. early in the morning. Here's some bacon. Now, this is not your usual recipe for chili, I know. But my mom always cooked up uh, four pounds of beans, four cans of crushed tomatoes. She never put the rotel in, but I'm putting rotel in. I don't even think she knew what rotel was. Um, I'm also going to kick it up with some um, little green peppers and um, maybe some red peppers and definitely some onions. I always use premium crackers with my chili when it's finished and completed and I think it always adds to it. So that's the beginning of the chili process and as I complete each step I will uh, come back and show you what's been done and how the process com uh, continues. All right, well, I'll see you in a little bit. So I opted to go with my mother's recipe rather than adding any peppers or onions to it. I'm gonna just do the authentic recipe that my mom used to do many 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 years ago she's been gone for 25 years but her recipe continues to um, stay on and so um, I'll show you over here what it looks like let me get the camera down and it's really bubbling oh I can't okay so it's really bubbling very nicely. Can you see that? Okay. So when that cooks down a little bit, then I will be putting in, um, I'll be cooking up the ground beef. Sorry about that. Oops. I may have to cut that part out. <laughs> okay. So I'll cook up the ground beef and add that, but the, um, the liquid has to cook down somewhat. So um, I'll be back with the next step, but right now it's going to be simmer, simmering and um, cooking down. So I'll be back. So one thing I forgot to say is to make sure if you ever make this recipe, and I'll definitely put it in the description box below, um, make sure you stir frequently because we don't want the... Uh, the liquid or the beans to stick to the bottom of the pot because then that gives it a burnt taste and it's not good. So stir frequently. Okay, continuing on with the process. This is the bacon that I chopped up pretty fine. Um, I'm only going to use a half a pound. I will be using this garlic here also. Here is the peppers. These are uh, fresh little peppers that my egg lady gave me when she um, gave me my eggs. So I'll be putting some of them in, and then here's the ground beef that I'm going to use. Okay, and as you can see, the beans are continuing to rumble. Okay, we will be back shortly. And this is the bacon that is um, cooking, and um, it's going to get nice and crispy. Not quite to the, like, burnt stage, but pretty darn crispy and then all the bacon and the juice or the drippings go right into this chili now I did add some chili powder already and I will be adding some uh, red pepper seed also possibly some cayenne we'll see we don't want it too too hot but we want it nice and spicy okay this is the last step to the process of the ground beef being put into the chili and then after that it's just a simmering process for the day and every once in a while I'll add a little bit of water to that just to um, continue it cooking so the beans get nice and soft and then we'll probably eat around five or six tonight. So this is what the chili looks like with all the ingredients in it. Now I will continue to add chili powder throughout the process and some cayenne pe pepper. 
but I'm going to have my daughter taste it because I don't want it to be so hot that nobody can eat it. Um, but I do want it to have that kick. Okay, and um, okay, there's the finished product. And those who have had some says it's pretty good. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And subscribe, share the video, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Be kind to one another. It's a rough world out there.